Took yesterday off. I was a little sick. Um, definitely want to understand the difference between when you can push through, like when you're tired and not feeling that great, and when you're actually sick and you probably need to give your body some rest. So yesterday I took a rest day, uh, and today I feel okay, you know, pretty good. Doesn't really matter though, because what we're going to do is we're going to give you guys an, in look, an insight to what a typical day of games training would be. Uh, I have not been training like this in a long time, so we're going to party today. And it's just me. Me and Nick. So, Nick's probably gonna booze in between, because he's 21 now. Get super and, drunk. Uh, get super drunk, and I'm just gonna get after it. We'll write it out, kind of like uh, the first portion of today, and then we'll go from there. And then we'll get some food and we'll eat. I'll show you guys what I'd eat. And then we might party some more. Might just be an all day affair. Nick just might be hanging out on, this might be what Saturday, what Nick's doing on Saturday. You know, Nick didn't probably think that, but now he is. Here we go. So I got this one from Rich. Rich was on, did a video. I saw one of Rich's videos the other day, some of his horse workouts, which is a fairly common thing, you know, when you're in games training, you kind of get some ideas from other people, uh, make them your own a little bit. So uh, this one was, I want to say it was three sets, which is going to be terrible, of 40 GHD, 20 dumbbell snatch, we're gonna go squat on that. 40 toes to bar. 20 dumbbell snatch. Squat. I don't know what weight I'll use yet. Um, I did 70s the other day. They went pretty well. Three sets, I wanna say rest three minutes. So that's workout number one. So we'll hit this. We'll come back to the board, figure some more stuff out. one done slightly over programmed rich just letting you know it was fun it was a good test that was a huge one where uh, for me I was definitely using the small goals equal big goals type mentality that I've always talked about since gosh forever just having little goals in your head to reach those big goals because if you're sitting there looking at the numbers 
those high numbers of reps that you have to do uh, can be definitely defeating in the head. If you just think about the next couple reps, the next five reps, the next 10 reps, and have a plan in your head to keep chipping away at the workout, you can always do one or two more. That's exactly what I did on that, especially on that third set. It gets really rough, it was fun though. It was definitely a good workout. Hip locked up on the GHD, but it was like, doesn't matter, you know? <clears throat> Grind it out, keep going, it'll be good. So, that was fun, workout one done. All right, next workout is going to be five rounds, 25 calorie row, 100 foot sled push. We're gonna put some weight on there. It'll probably be pretty stout. And then one legless rope climb. So this will be a good long, longer, longer duration. But the last one was kind of like an interval chipper. So this will be a good little <clears throat> conditioning piece again with some, with some strength in there with the sled push. So it'll be good, it'll be fun. I'll enjoy it, and so will you. All right. Workout number two. This will be a fun one. Here we go. Stalling. Stalling red. Yeah, that was just a how fast can you row workout. Really fun though. Having to push, trying to see what you can hold your 25 calories at, and then not slow down on the sled. The row climb was easy, could have been probably two. Legs hurt on the sled, but it was really fun. It's a good time. It's the best part of game training, doing stuff like that, but I think you should always do it throughout the whole year and not just rely on it towards the end of the games because I think sled pushes have a, they're just a great workout for a great stimulus for everyday life, right? Just generating power, strength, driving, so. All right, moving on. Might do a little strength now. Uh, I got some weak shoulders, so we'll do some shoulder press and I'll show you how weak I am. And by that I mean, good, I got weak shoulders. Time to improve, right? Like Jocko says. 
probably do some strict, uh, some strict press <clears throat> with some uh, slow descents. So get some bolder shoulders, as some might say. All right, I'm gonna do some tempo work with some strict press, slowing the lowering portion of it down. I don't like to use big words like eccentric. I'm gonna try to, try to control the down for a five second, um, hold it at the bottom and then press up fast. So, and try to do five reps of that, five by five. For these, it's more about, you know, time under tension and not the actual load that you're using. So, uh, you know, keep it lighter weight. I don't know what percentage it is, but it's not very high. I'll do one little quick warm up, few reps here, and then I'll go up to my first set. Uh, these won't be controlled. These will just be to get the shoulders loose and ready to roll. And for shoulder press, I always come from the floor because I'm not that strong. And so, why not? Oh yeah. Try not to get too much rest between these. Max rest of like 90 to uh, 90 seconds to two minutes max. My last two, three sets, my last rep or two, I'd almost get a little push, push press into it and still try to control the descent as much as possible, the descent as much as possible. And that was more important in that for today than actually worrying about if I could get all of the five presses up. Um, I'd rather push myself a little bit and maybe come up just short on this, on the, on the presses and control the descents down, um, then go a little too light and not really get as much out of it. So, uh, yeah, it was fun, it was good. Good little strength portion, haven't eaten yet. So, I'm gonna go and get some food now and then we'll come back out and we'll do some more training. So, if you guys wanna see what I eat, stay tuned, Wednesday is when we will show the food, what the, what the meals look like. So, there you go. Um, oh, so we had some lunch, first meal, whatever you want to call it, had a little espresso, ready to go now, fired up, feeling good, feels like home, right? Back to training all day long, just eating and training, oh man, this feels good. <laughs> gonna work on some handstand push-ups, strict, little deficit, we're gonna go with about a... I want to say the blacks are three inches and those 25 is like one and a half. And so that deficit is about four and a half, but then you lose a little bit with the floor, put a little padding down. So it's probably more so about four inch deficit. So we got, boom, four and a half inches. Four and a half inch deficit. So what we're going to try to do we're gonna to try to hold, it's gonna be an on the minute. So get myself a little tired with my shoulders with the skier. And we're gonna hold, let's go 15 calories. So we're gonna do this 10 minutes. 15 calories, ski, and six strict handstand push up with the four inch and a half inch deficit. On the minute, 10 minutes. We'll see. I don't know. 
I'm not wasting any more of those. <laughs> That's gonna be tough. Yeah, because if you can get 15 is gonna take every bit of like almost 45 seconds. I'm gonna switch that. Set a little just be almost no rest. Let's just go 15 and 5. Wow. All right, we're gonna make an adjustment based off of warm up. <laughs> Just one less rep. 15 and five, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be really tough. So, um, but I'd rather aim for that than go with an easier number, an easier route. So, hey, this is games training, right? So, we'll see how this plays out. 15's gonna be tough, because it's gonna be, I'm gonna have to push the 15. So on a minute. Go get the meatloaf ready. Here we go. around for time it is. So just missed the goal. I'm actually happy with that. Whew. Tried to go in a minute. But yeah, I'm glad I didn't go down to 12 calories. Because I wouldn't have pushed as hard on the ski. So that was good. So yeah, I just missed the goal. Hey, next time. Next time I'll be there. So that was good. 50 handstand push-ups at uh, that deficit with 150 calorie ski in 10 minutes, 10, 20. I'll take that. An old buddy once said, don't be surprised, boys, if shit goes your way every once in a while. It's true. I could let that workout beat me up and say, oh, I didn't do what I was supposed to do, but you know, I took a shot. I took a chance, right? I went numbers that I didn't know if I could hit or not. And I came up just short, you know, 20 seconds short of completing the task, so I'm happy with that. Obviously there's room to improve. I just, I just needed to push a little harder on the calories. In those middle sets, I fell off on my calories. Started to let the mind creep in a little bit. You're like, ah, don't go so hard. But it's good. I'll take it. I'll take it. If you're always falling short of your, your goals, it's for a reason, right? You can't come in and just do the minimums, right? You gotta go above and beyond. Russ and Coach used to always say, hardest worker in the room and never complain. Break through your wall. You just scream it at us. I loved it, loved every second of it. And I did not start the, the erg over every time. So I got my roll over. Big whoop, wanna fight about it? Last workout is going to be 
20 calories, one minute rest, six sets. So it's not gonna be an all out effort. It's not gonna be a sprint. Um, it's gonna be you know, trying to hold a certain pace. What that pace is will be determined while I'm on this bike. So we rested for what, <laughs> total of seven minutes maybe? Eight minutes probably since that last workout. So try to keep the pace up high. Not Definitely not an all out sprint though. Um, so yeah. Here we go. There's a day right there, man. That was probably on the lighter side. The strength component typically would have been extended. That would typically be about a 45 minute to an hour session of like multiple movements. But that's a typical day of uh, actual training for games. The thing goes, it doesn't stop there. Now it's time to do some mobility, right? Pull out my Go Wide Mobility app. I'll stretch for a good 30 minutes. I'll do my ice bath, I'll do my sauna. You know, I'll probably throw my power dot on. And then you just do it all again. There's definitely been times where, you know, I trained not so smart and I would recognize I did something like this literally for like two weeks straight without taking a rest day. You know, my body would be wrecked. It's probably why. Could be a wee reason why I'm so broken. <laughs> but, you know, this was the most fun I'd had inside the garage in a long time. And it was, it just felt like home. You know, it felt good to be sitting here just getting after it all day. One of the biggest questions is, you know, like, why do you do it? Why do you compete? Why do you uh, try to come back to the CrossFit game so many times? And it's, it's not to, to perform in front of the crowd. That is absolutely an amazing fe uh, feeling but it is uh is not why i do it like i love coming into this gym and testing myself and pushing myself and then seeing the next day how far i can push myself again and then the next day again and i want to see what this body's capable of doing at 36 years old on three knee surgeries you know not feeling sorry for myself at all i'm just telling you who i am as a person so i love this i love coming out here i love grinding I did it by myself. I had Nick the camera guy, that's it. Just me and you, you know? Yes, sir. He was, he was getting drunk, but <laughs> not really. If you want to do compete at the ultimate level in this sport, you got to love this right here. You can't need hearing someone cheer for you. You have to have it in your head that you want to compete and you want to do your best no matter the scenario, whether there's 5,000 people watching or nobody watching. This is where it's made right here. This is where it's won, not out there. So I'm excited to watch all the competitors coming up this week. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I'm actually gonna do a video of my predictions here coming up. Maybe we'll drop it pre-Wednesday or something. Maybe we'll drop it Monday or Tuesday. Again, if you like this, let us know. You wanna see more like it, other subjects, other topics, let us know. Hit the subscribe, hit the notifications. And as always, don't forget to pay the man.